Okay, let me show you some of these products that I have. I probably won't use all of them, but I have them. First, there's this LA Colors Face Primer. I have a couple LA Colors Liquid Makeup. I have a Color Mates Press Powder. Then I have this 3-in-1 LA uh, Stick from LA Colors that could be used as lipstick, blush, or eyeshadow. I have a bronzer and a highlight by LA Colors. This Color Mates Blush. Then I have a couple um, eyeshadow palettes from LA Colors. There's this purple looking one. And there's this one. And then um, also for eyes, I have this Wet n Wild Color Icon Co Eyeliner. I have this LA Colors brow pencil and highlighter. I have a couple choices of mascara. There's one from Wet n Wild, one from LA Colors. For lips, I have three different lipsticks. One LA Colors, one Wet n Wild, one Color Mates, and this one actually comes with a lip liner. Then I have some of Wet n Wild's brushes. So there's five of them to choose from. Then I have this Kabuki brush that comes from Sassy and Chic. I also have a coconut oil lip balm from Palmer's. I have some baby powder here, just in case I need it. I also bought this uh, package of travel bottles. And the reason I bought that is because it has this spray bottle. And what I'm gonna do is I have this cup of green tea that's been cooling off and I am going to use that to make it, uh, just use it as a setting spray. So anyway, let me get all this opened up and I will be right back. Hi everybody, I'm back. So anyway, I went to the Dollar Tree as you saw and I bought a bunch of makeup products that only cost a dollar and I wanted to show everybody how they worked. I have tried everything once and so I can tell you how long it lasted and things like that and how to apply it. So I'm gonna share that with you today. The one thing that I did not try because I forgot to put it on was this primer. It's color correcting and it is supposed to be clear after I uh, did have my makeup off, I did put it on just to see what it would look like, but I didn't try makeup on over it. And it, it does not come out clear. It comes out like a white color, but then um, it does, it does kind of, kind of come out clear, but I just take that to be color correcting. So it would, color, it would cover up any redness or discolorations you have. So I think the trick of this is to use it pretty sparingly. So I'm gonna put it on. Did notice that it kind of got up in my hairline when I tried it before. Looks a little bit like that white zinky sunscreen. It's pretty darn thick. But we'll see how it does. Now some of these products were kind of hit and miss when I tried them out before. And not, not everything worked that great. But all in all, it, everything worked pretty good um so you'll you'll see anyway my my face feels pretty smooth now and we'll go on to the next step i with this la colors liquid makeup i'm using creamy beige and i am going to use my flat brush that i usually use now, one thing that I did find about this is it's it's got palm oil in it, and it's I I don't know how to say the word right. It's comodigenic 
and um, this is not for someone with oily skin. I have dry skin, so it's okay for me, but if you have oily skin, I would not suggest putting this on your face. Um, I also have, I have, uh, in the past I've had cystic acne, and so I have pit marks and stuff, like ice pick marks on my face, so really big pores, and it settled into my pores throughout the day. I mean, it it just kind of settled in there and laid in there like, like grease, and um, I did not like that about this product. but it, it, it literally felt like oil was sitting on my face. And I, I do believe this would make someone break out. So I put a little on here. I found that uh, the first coat gives you kind of a very sheer coverage. And then the second coat will make it a little bit better. Well, that was without primer. It seems with primer, it's kind of giving you better coverage. Yeah, I might be able to do it just with one coat with the primer. But yeah, this is, this is not for someone with oily skin at all. I was totally wondering what was going on and so I looked it up and like there, the ingredients were on the back of the package and two of the ingredients, when I looked them up, they said it was derivatives of palm oil. Okay, so I, I think I can get away with one layer with the primer. Yeah, the primer makes it a lot better. So, that's what the liquid makeup looks like. So if you get the liquid makeup, try to get the primer with it. If the primer's not available in whatever Dollar Tree you have, then uh, you're gonna have to need two layers of this. I found the wear time is about five or six hours, so it doesn't last, it, it doesn't last all day long. It'll last you uh, just a few hours if you're just gonna go out maybe to dinner or something like that. So the next thing, is, as you can see, it's kind of shiny. So the next thing, uh, I did was I used this Color Mates powder and I bought this Kabuki brush that you saw and I'll tell you right now this is a piece of crap this is big piece of crap uh, I I totally believe that I wasted a dollar and it was not worth a dollar to me as you can see it's it's these are not thick these are not soft these, they're scratchy, they scratch your face, they scratch into the product. I don't like this, but I'm gonna use it anyway. I'm gonna use it anyway. I tried to use the foundation on this and it, it, it just turned into a hot mess. But it, it, it barely, see, I don't know if you can see that, but what it's doing is it's just, see that it's like snow. Anyway. I'm just kind of dab this on my face. But I'm gonna use this brush in the video. Um, it's, it's going straight in the garbage. This is awful. Do not waste your money on this. Okay. Yeah, I got, I got it all over myself now. Okay, the next thing that I did is, now, this is a trick you might not know, but anyway, 
The reason I bought the lip balm, now you can get chapstick. I, I got this because I just like coconut oil, coconut oil is uh, not just, you, you don't just have to use it on your lips, which I'm gonna do for, uh, to get my lips ready for a lipstick, but you can use lip balm as an eye primer. So yeah, you can use lip balm as an eye primer. So I'm gonna do that. If you have oily lids, maybe you shouldn't. I, I, don't, I don't know about that, but um, lip balm will help your eyeshadow stick so to go on smoother. I always prime my eyes before I do my eyebrows. That's just a little hack. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is my eyebrows. There was not a spoolie um, at the Dollar Tree, so I'm using my own. The next thing I have is I have their brow pencil. Let's see, it's by LA Colors. And I like it. I got it in the, uh, I think it's in the light color. It, it works pretty darn good. It matches my eyebrows, which I can say that it works better than a lot of the more expensive products I bought. I've bought products that uh, ended up looking like red on me. I don't, I don't have red hair, but uh, no, this, I like it. I like the texture, goes on nice and smooth. I do like this. If you hear a little growling noise, that's my doggies in here. One day I'll tell you about my doggies. I have five dogs. Okay. Okay, the other end of this, it's this highlighter highlighter that you were supposed to put under your brow bone, like, like under here. Okay, this doesn't work. This does not work. It's awful. So I'm not using that. Okay, so the next thing is the eyeshadow. I had a heck of a time with the eyeshadow. I was trying everything and... Um, I have the two choices here. I have this little trio and I have this little palette here. And I this this has some mattes in it. That's why I bought it. And because this is mostly satins and stuff like that. And I tried using brushes and stuff and I found that uh, you've got to use little sponges, like old school sponges like we used you know, back when we learned how to put on our makeup way back when. Um, I did find I can use a uh, a brush to do my transition shade. They're also pretty hard to open. But um, I'm using my own brush. And I'm gonna use this this kind of brown color right here, and I'm gonna do a quick transition shade. Just kind of really lightly. I found with this color, it gets muddy really fast. Now I'm going to go into this one. Oh, I got my little sponge applicators. And 
I know what colors I'm using. And the, uh, let's see. The first one I'm gonna use is, I'm gonna use this dark one, this dark one right here. And I mean, these, these are not very pigmented. They're really chalky. And I mean, you, you gotta, you gotta scrub that sucker. You just gotta scrub it. Otherwise you're not getting anything. I'm gonna scrub it. Okay. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm, if I flip my sponge around, I'm gonna go into this, this brighter, brighter shade. Now I'm gonna take this wet and wild brush and I'm gonna blend them. Then I'm gonna take this, this little peachy shade up here. Got this peachy. I'm gonna do like a little highlight. Now, since I have hooded eyes, I like to show off <clears throat> my mobile lid. You know, everybody can get away with different things. And the best color I found for that is to actually use the highlighter that I bought. And so I'm gonna take this highlighter And I'm going to do my mobile lid. If you can see that. Okay. Nothing fancy. Okay, so that's about it with eyeshadow. You can't do much here. The next thing that I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild pencil. I found that it, it's, it works smooth. I mean, it's a Wet n Wild product. Wet n Wild products are pretty darn good. I just do a really thin line when I even wear eyeliner. To be honest, I don't wear eyeliner very often. And I'm just gonna do the corner down here, just a little bit. Which reminds me that I forgot to put any eyeshadow down here. I'm gonna go back into this purple. Oh. 
I'm going to take this brush right here. I'm going to dig into that, that, that shade. Kind of lightly line it underneath. Then I'm going to dig into this shade. Put it right below it, do it like a little layer. This kind of opens the eye up a little bit. I almost forgot that. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is curl my lashes. Now, I bought two mascaras. I bought this LA Colors one, which I tried yesterday, and it's a pretty good mascara. It's, it's not very uh, volumizing. It's kind of like a barely there mascara i mean it held up well it didn't clump um it wasn't hard to wash off or anything like that and then i bought this wet and wild megaware so i have not tried that this i liked the uh one thing that i i figured that i'm gonna do with it from now on is i'm gonna put it on my bottom lashes because um i kind of like my bottom lashes to show but not a whole lot so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use uh, this one on my top lashes and I'm gonna use this one on my bottom lashes. So. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead with this one and I'm gonna do the bottoms. So you can see it's kind of barely there. See? I had a couple a couple oopsies. So I go ahead and get those off. Okay. So eyes are done. And the next thing is this, this bronzer. Now this bronzer, let me tell you, this stuff is, whew, it's pigmented. Look at that. Oh, wow. Wow. You have to, you, you have to be so careful with this stuff. <laughs> this is not, this is not a contour. This is a bronzer. Um, so go very lightly on this and I suggest you start up on your forehead. Start up at your forehead and just kind of wherever you would get a suntan. Wherever you would get a suntan. Think of it like that. 
and <laughs> you could already see you could already see where it's kind of getting me look look at that oh gosh oh gosh I was kind of I'm scared of it oh I'm scared of it I'm, I'm just kind of going like that. I'm not, I'm not rubbing. I'm just kind of going like that because I am. And then you would definitely get a little sun on the top of your nose. I remember, I remember using this stuff all over myself before. Back like, I don't know, in the 90s and early 2000. Put this stuff all on your neck. I mean, you can put this stuff everywhere. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna put it on my neck. Just wherever the sun would hit you. Kind of gives you the suntan. Okay, so I got that. And then this blush. Now this this blush is awesome. I like this blush. It's called Marvelous. Marvelous. So don't go too crazy on this either. Just kind of pat pat in there. Just kind of. Roll it on. Okay, and next I have this highlighter. And this, this highlighter, this highlighter is great. I like it. You saw how it did on my eyes. Just kind of be gentle with it. I'm a, I'm a little bit older, you know, so don't want to go nuts. I just put a little right up appear over my cheekbones. I mean, sometimes you can put a little there. I don't ever put it on my cupid's bow. I mean, I have bad wrinkles there, but some people can still get away with it. I cannot. Okay, and then I'm going to show you, I have this little lip pencil. So I'm gonna line my lips. Honestly, this is kind of like the color of your skin. I mean, the color of your lips, of my lips anyway. Okay, my lips are all lined. 
and I have three to choose from. Yesterday I did this wet and wild one and this was pretty darn frosty on me. But I liked it, it stayed up. Today I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the color that came with the lip liner and that's this color made, it's this purple nudie color. which is also very frosty, I can see. I don't like that. Okay, we're gonna, gonna take that off. Right? I'm gonna I'm gonna put this frosty other frosty one back on. Okay, that's better. Okay, now to set it, I've got this green tea in a bottle. <coughs> Excuse me. You can buy these bottles in a travel pack. There it comes with two like little squeeze bottles and then there's the spray bottle. You can also buy green tea at the Dollar Tree. And basically, all you need to do is take an eight ounce, eight, eight ounces of water and make a cup of green tea and pour it in here. Now, if you use tap water, it's only gonna last for maybe four or five days. If you use distilled water, it can last up to two weeks. You do need to refrigerate it. Now, you're gonna get better luck and uh, if you throw some aloe vera in there or some glycerin, you could do that. Glycerin is preservative and aloe will help preserve it a little bit too. And they also have great skincare benefits. Green tea has a lot of skincare benefits, but this does refresh your face and it sets your face. And that's what we're gonna do. So, anyway, uh, this is it, and I'm gonna let this dry because it always takes my makeup a little, uh, my setting spray a little bit to dry. And I will be right back. So, that was my little demo and review of things that I found at the Dollar Tree. I hope that that inspires you to go to your local Dollar Tree and find some things that you like too and make your own look. This is the one that I came up with. And I hope this video was helpful and that you like and su subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.